outside. This is why they're saying stay inside. Don't go to town if you don't need to. Visibility sucks. Little Billy Weatherman went shitting when he said we were gonna get hit and fucked good. But here we are, headed to town. We didn't go to Walmart and get all that milk and bread yet, so here we are, head down 26. It takes about 15 minutes normally to get to town. It'll take a good half hour today. Might be able to see maybe a good 75 to 100 feet in front of us until the wind starts gusting. So, that wind starts whipping up through here. This is what you call a big old New England, old fashioned New England Northeaster, right here. Can't really see much. Yeah, there's somebody's. Oh, that's that's a restaurant here in town. They're, they're shut up tighter than the nuns you know why. Coming up here on Snow Falls. Lots of action here in the summertime. Everybody checking things out, checking out the falls. Place is dead. We got some traffic. It's like the northbound side got plowed, but we're headed south. We ain't plowed on this side, so we're all over the place. So. Pretty much driving through an old horse and buggy trail coming down 26. Now nope, we got some lights going on here. So we'll have to see what's up. <coughs> get the car off the rod. Got the old sheriff's department there. Good thing. Probably gonna have to put that down. They are all over the place. Listen to the scanner earlier. Yeah, it's everything everywhere. Crop cars getting stuck, responding to accidents. Cars going off the rut. Even a hard time for ambulances to get out today. Up here in Maine, Western Maine. And I believe that this is the worst of the storm coming in because it's really coming down. We're supposed to get up to two feet of snow in areas here. It's gonna snow into the night, right into the morning. So the worst of it's supposed to be over about 8 p.m. tonight. So it's what six now. So we still got a few more hours. Should been really coming down. So. But if this was just snow without all the wind, this wouldn't be a bad, bad storm. This would be a typical New England snowstorm. Uh, we'd be able to see a little bit farther too. So and this is why they say on the news and the radios, don't go out if you don't have to, but you know. I got 4x4, four four. I got some mud tires on this thing, no, no, we don't do snow tires, I got some good old mud tires on here, it does just as good, we got plenty of traction. <coughs> this old loser cruiser will get me anywhere, she ain't failed me yet in the three years that I've owned her, so she's just an old Ford Explorer, I think 04. But you gotta have live up here, you're stuck. I couldn't imagine driving around a Nissan Altima today. And then 60 series tires, oh shit, you, you'd be freaking plowing the snow freaking two miles an hour, just trying to freaking get somewhere. You'd be lucky when you make the corner store. So, we got a whole line of traffic here. So we're only doing 30 miles an hour down 26. It's usually like 55 through here. We ain't plowed. If this side was plowed, I could probably do about 45, 50, but, you know. She ain't plowed. Northbound got plowed, but doesn't even look at that coming down this way, but when I got on 26, yeah, she looked like the plow truck just come through, so. When we get the wind whipping up like this, it just drifts the snow right off the side of the rud, right back into the rud, so these, these plow guys are out working straight. 
clean this mess up. Try to keep the roads clear. They ain't gonna get no sleep tonight. So I couldn't imagine trying to drive down 95 today at Southern Maine. So. <clears throat> it is what it is. Good old fashioned nor'easter. Well, you know, by the time I get to town, they probably ain't gonna have no milk, bread, you know. Be what stores be shelves be wiped right out. That's okay. We gotta save a lot. We got a Hannaford. We got Walmart. No, oh, there's the plow guy right there. Like hanging out in front of the dew drop in. Coming off Paris Hill Road, I presume. <coughs> so yeah, it's hard to see. Coming up over here on Picking Paws. Picking Paws, big old yard sale year round. If it's plowed out, they got a way in there. And get on in. Hey, it looks like they fixed the roof. It collapsed on the last dome. Looks like they got that fixed. Pick and Paul. They ain't got it. You don't need it. Been years since I've been picking Paul, but good old place right there. You stop in, make an offer. You buy a book for 10 cents. Wicked good baggins over at Pick and Paul's. I think there's gonna be a lot of action in town today. That's why I decided, hey, let's go for a ride. Go into town. I'm always up for an adventure. Walmart ought to be happening today. You can get around, you ain't gotta worry about fighting people. Big old aisles, you don't have to go to Lawn and Garden and get yourself a big old snow plow for your tractor. Put on the front of your snow plow like you do at Christmas. Get people out of your way. Yep, it's a wicked storm here. And I'm up for a wicked adventure. Get to one ice cream. <coughs> I need milk for coffee. Kids gotta have bread for toast in the morning. They're hoping they ain't got school tomorrow. But they'll they'll have school tomorrow. It'll get a little rough here, so we better slow down. Getting choppy. I drive one hand here. Good thing I drove a race car. Know how to keep her all under control. Ride the slide, they say. She's coming off turn four. Poor guy's out here shoveling the driveway. That's what you gotta do when you live in Maine. You gotta shovel. If you ain't got no plow, you gotta come out here and you gotta shovel. So, big old two foot storm coming like this with two feet of snow. You gotta get out there, you gotta shovel it out. Otherwise, you break your back after the storm's over. I'm lucky. I got my neighbor. He kind of got a tractor with a bucket on it. He comes over to help out since my plow truck broke. Snapped the 4x4 shaft right out of him. Right off the transfer case. Old Chevy truck. Should have bought a Ford, I guess. Dodge. Uh, is what it is. Good thing for my neighbor with his big old bucket. So. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to shut this down for now. I'll do a little bit more once we get into town. You can actually see how bad this storm is with the lots of the businesses, but I think the town's gonna be shut up tighter than the nuns do you know what tonight. Because it is what it is. Here comes another plow truck. He's just a sanding instead of plowing. I don't even see he's dropping down sand to salt, so. <coughs> couldn't imagine having to be a police officer or an ambulance driver today because these guys don't have a choice they got to drive out in it so they don't get the opportunity to stay out so and they got to drive in this stuff about time they bought some trucks for four by four because them sheriffs used to have to drive around them cop cars and big old crown victorias drive through this stuff when it happens so they couldn't get to places but they'd be out there trying until they got stuck and send out tow trucks to pull them out now they got 4x4, four four, they got them Ford Escapes, Ford Explorers, all that. So 
know, they can get out where they need to go, but still, I couldn't imagine anybody, ha you know, having to do this. I'm doing it because I want to. I ain't doing it because I have to. I could have just went to a corner store down at Big Apple, you know, down at the corner. My eight-year-old, he wanted to stop in one day. We drive by the Big Apple. He's like, hey, can we stop at the Big Apple, Dad? I'm like, why? He's like, I want to see that guy. He says, only a Big Apple. So, he's quite a character, a little eight-year-old. Anyway, this is Cousin Bubba. I'm going to shut this down for a little bit because we're getting into town. We'll go a little more. Wind's picking up down through here, too. Jeez, we're getting all over the place. It's getting squirrely. So, the old mean DOT maintenance lot. A lot of action going in out of there today. That's where they got to go get their sand, get their salt, get loaded back up. Fuel up. Get back out, keep on plowing. So these guys probably been out since this morning dropping salt before the storm. <coughs> they gotta keep on plowing right through the night. Keep these roads cleared for us idiots out here that just don't know how to stay home. Like I said, I couldn't even imagine driving a low car like a Nissan Altima or a Maxima or anything like that with those 60 series tires on them. So, you know, my 19, 20 year old son, he Last all, he freaking went down and followed his GPS on his phone because it was a jackknife track trailer on 119. So he decided to take this tote road, his GPS took him, right down through the middle of the woods. No power lines, road and clo closed right in, but he drove right through the snow and got himself stuck. Of course, he calls me at 1 a.m. Come get him out. So we did. You gotta learn the hard way, apparently, up here. But yeah, not a lot of traffic on the road. And this is what it's like up here, but a good old fashioned northeast. So. Oh, I'm speeding now. I'm doing 30. I better slow down. We don't want to get pulled over in a freaking blizzard. Be on the side of the road, everybody think we stuck. Be a little embarrassed. Nah, I think them, them police officers got better things to do today because that scan is just going right off. Guys off the road everywhere coming down the hill, cops going off the road trying to respond to those calls. So they got to shut down the road just so that people don't keep running, you know, coming down and causing more wrecks. So. But yeah, yeah, it's a good old fashioned Maine Nor'easter. Yee yeah, yeah.